Welcome everyone to the 2017 Land Rover live test drives here at the Land Rover Experience Centre at Eastnet in the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm joined today by Alex, our Land Rover Experience instructor. Welcome. Thank you. Great to have you here, of course. We're here to test the all new 2017 Land Rover Discovery. Indeed, so as you say, all new Land Rover Discovery, uh, looking absolutely fantastic in the sunshine here in uh, Namib Orange. Uh, we've got that contemporary sculpted uh, design, we've got the athletic stance, we've got our signature LED headlights there, air suspension on this vehicle so it's nicely sat down at the moment, make it easy for us to get in and out, but of course we can raise that up later when we go off-road. Uh, real Discovery. Inside, all the usual refinements and versatility that you'd expect from Discovery. We've got advanced storage solutions, we've got uh, USB charging points for all rows of seats and we've got seven seats available in this vehicle. It continues in the second row seats as well and we can slide these forwards and backwards and indeed adjust the backrest rake as well so you can get a really comfortable position whilst maximising the legroom for both second row and indeed third row passengers. A fantastic amount of load space in this car, uh, 2,406 litres with all the seats folded down and even without uh, we've got 1137 litres of boot space just in the normal boot alone. In the boot of this particular car we've got some uh, accessories, a load space guard, a load space divider and indeed the, uh, the protective mat here so if say we wanted to bring our, our, our furry four-legged friends along then we've got the space, we've got the facilities to, uh, to do it. So a little bit of a climb up the steps, so nice and slow approach and then a gentle application of acceleration just to lift the car up the hill, nice and steady, up it climbs, no hassle, no difficulties at all. Quite a strange looking obstacle, um, but uh, all I'm going to do is uh, approach at a bit of an angle, nice and slowly, nice and gently, that front left wheel starting to just lift into the air, so very cautiously with the foot brake, I'm just lowering the car over, and as it goes from being up to being down, lifts that rear corner into the air, and then all I need to do is take my feet away and allow the hill descent control to lower us down the hill, no problems at all. But another nice little obstacle here, little bit of wheel spin there as we approach as it just starts to lift the wheel slightly off the ground and again really cautiously, really slowly just easing the car up the hill, just a little touch of accelerator just help it up the top there and then again as we descend my feet are away, hill descent control lowers us nicely down the other side, no difficulties at all. Discovery is going to help us here with a massive 900 mil wading depth, so nearly a metre. All we need to do is simply take our feet away again, allow the hill descent control to lower us slowly into the water and then gradually apply the accelerator and just pushing the car through, generating a little bow wave and that's just helping to lower the water level slightly down the sides of the car, keeps us moving and we can progress through the water nice and steadily, no bother. So uh, another little obstacle here, as you can see, car comes in quite happily, no problems at all, and I'm just guiding it along nice and steadily there. So uh, 27 degrees at the moment, so uh, car's taking it in its stride, but it feels quite strange. Yeah. And uh, nice, gentle application of the accelerator, lifting that front left wheel up into the air, as I'm sure you can see, and just climbing out as we come towards the top, little scrabble for grip, traction control, responding in a fraction of a second there little bit of an obstacle here in front. This is basically going to put one side of the car with very little grip, one side of the car with uh, a lot more grip. So uh, all I need to do is just guide it up nice and slowly. You can see lining it up on the rollers there with the camera. It makes line, my life really, really easy. And uh, front wheel comes on, no real bother at all. As the back wheel comes on, you can see we experience a little bit of wheel slip as the car tries to work out where the grip is. All we need to do is apply a little bit of accelerator. The traction control systems realize that there's grip on the right, not so much on the left. Move the power gently across and forward we go. What are we getting ourselves into now? So we're heading straight down into the woods. Um, I've got the hill descent control on and all I need to do is take my feet away. The car just does a fantastic job of tackling the terrain and all I'm doing is uh, guiding it in the right direction. So we've got our uh, three litre TD6 engine in this vehicle, 258 PS, 600 Newton metres of torque, and that's what really is gonna help us in a scenario like this. We've also got eight speed gearbox with a two speed transfer box. Effectively, that gives us 16 forward gears to allow us to control the vehicle over the terrain. And in first low range at the moment, um, as you can see, the car travels really slowly over the terrain. And 
really nice and gently. I'm going to use the foot brake for this one, really, so that I can just uh, show the car off a little. Um, hill descent would take us down here so beautifully, but uh, I'm going to intervene, and all I want to do is just lower it slowly over the edge, and you can probably see from the outside now, starting to lift that rear wheel nicely into the air, and you can see it wobbling, feel it moving, but the car is quite happy, quite secure, and we can just lower it down, pop that wheel back down onto the floor, and it's as easy as that. We're up in off-road height, uh, so a huge amount of articulation, and you'll see on the outside as we clamber over the, some of the lumps and bumps, and you may well have seen it earlier as well, those wheels moving up and down, and again, I mean, it clambers up, keeping its wheels firmly on the ground, no difficulties at all. At the moment, we've been in mud and ruts. I can dial it round to the rock crawl program. This will help us uh, with uh, control over these lumps and bumps. Again, hill descent control is going to play a really big part, um, but it now just lowers us down nice and slowly. Traction control system on the car complements that by monitoring each wheel individually and comparing it to the others. And if it sees a wheel spinning and excessively going fast, then it will use the anti-lock braking system to apply the brakes, slow the wheel down, and that in turn will help to balance the power. So the car is always aiming for 25% power at each wheel as we drive around. Look, Alex. We're here in a Land Rover. Let's not follow this track. That's a hill. I want to go up it. Should we do it? I think so. Why not? Let's go. Fantastic. So we'll select grass, gravel, snow. And all we need to do is head on up the hill. So uh, coming back onto uh, a much firmer surface now, uh, we're still in uh, a terrain response special programme with suspension raised in low range, so we can reset the car back to uh, more road-like settings. So suspension settles down to its normal road driving height. Uh, we're in high range, which allows us a little bit higher speeds and uh, throttle response and uh, other responses are tuned now for a higher grip surface and more normal driving characteristics. So we've got a whole suite of sort of driver aids and safety aids on the vehicle. Things like autonomous emergency braking, which is looking ahead and uh, will apply the brakes if it senses a collision, help uh, mitigate that collision, reduce the speed on impact. Uh, we've got things like advanced emergency brake assist, which will help us stop more quickly. If the car detects we're getting into trouble, um, then it will automatically prime the brakes. So when I apply the foot brake, the car stops quicker to help us again get, uh, get away from the danger. We've also got uh, useful features uh, like the blind spot monitoring that's looking out to my left and right side blind spots. And uh, if it sees something there, it will put a little symbol up in either the left or right mirror to warn me that there's something in my blind spot. And it now comes with assist as well. So if I'm traveling on the motorway and there is something in my blind spot, the car will gently try and stop me moving into the path of an oncoming vehicle. So it'll just increase the level of feedback on the steering wheel. So I'll find it not impossible, but more difficult to turn. And therefore it should prompt me to have a quick look and realize that there's something in the blind spot before I make that maneuver. In conjunction with that, we've also got the Lane Keep Assist, and uh, it monitors the road for lane markings. And again, it will gently apply little bits of steering to help keep us in the lane if we're uh, losing concentration and wandering out of our lane, and uh, just keeping us nice and safe and uh, making sure we're not uh, crossing into, again, the path of another oncoming car. So, Alex, I think that's pretty much everything for today. I'd just like to thank everyone for joining us for the 2017 live test drive of the all-new Discovery here at the Landro Experience Centre in Eastner. So thanks for watching. Do join us next week as we test the Range Rover Revoke in a bit more detail and be putting it through its paces both on and off-road. Thanks for now. If you enjoyed this episode of the live test drives, you have to do one simple thing to not miss the next. Subscribe to Land Rover's YouTube channel now. Thanks for watching.